Yes guys, I am back on the YouTube grind and today we are jumping into the top must-have apps for students starting this semester. These apps I literally use every single day of my life and some are just apps that help me to make my campus life so much more streamlined and easier. So let's get into this. First up, we have Notion. Notion is hands down the best note taking app out there. Don't waste your time with OneNote or Apple Notes. Get yourself a proper notes app for the best organization. Now the thing that I love about Notion is the vast array of templates available. People have created so many amazing templates that you can use, so you don't even have to spend time building your Notion if you don't want to. Just find a template that suits your needs and you're good to go. Alright, look, so let's jump onto Notion right now. This is like my main homepage for Notion and all of the things that go on in my brain get sort of categorized into these different pages that I have on the screen here. So, and all my planning for my content creation, all my notes for uni, my thoughts like weekly planner, finances, like just literally absolutely everything. It's just all here in Notion. And I think it's just so powerful to have everything in one place where I can just access it all super easily. Then there's also uni in here as well. So all of my uni is, into, is in Notion. I have it broken up into different, so all my units have their own different pages. I have an assessment calendar and this template I actually got off an already made template that someone had made so for instance to just to just to get a template for, so down here there's this page called templates click on this and this is all the different templates you can do you can have daily dashboard bullet journal backpacking and hiking tracker meal planning personal finance sleep tracker like there's just so much that notion has at its fingertips there's so much versatility that you can have and literally everything that goes on, my, on in my brain is organized into Notion, which just helps me not to have my brain running at a million miles per hour. And I can just have things more organized. Just press the forward slash. You have all these different blocks for commands um, to put in, like you can put in YouTube videos in here, full YouTube videos. So that's really handy when I'm writing down notes on a certain topic, I have a video that I can just watch from my Notion page. Everything is just in the one app. So that's Notion. If you guys don't have Notion, you need to get onto it. It's super, it's all of it is free as well, except for the AI features. Um, there are AI features where it can fix up your writing. You know, standard AI features that are coming to, I think, absolutely every app. But without the AI feature, Notion is still amazing. All links will be in the description for you to go and download the apps. So yeah. As students, we're always going from one class to another, and our lives are naturally pretty busy and scheduled by our timetables. To manage my whole life with my uni calendar, I use the Notion calendar. Having a calendar to integrate my life with my uni schedule is extremely helpful. Ever since the semester started back up, I've been using the Notion calendar to manage my days into blocks of time. Now this helps me to manage my time better and fit more time into my day. When I plan everything out, I'm not just wasting time figuring out what to do next. The reason why I use Notion calendar is one, because of its integration with Notion. I already told you guys I use Notion, so to use the Notion calendar if I do have databases or you saw my assessment calendar already in my Notion, that all syncs up with my Notion calendar and I can also access my notes in Notion through the Notion calendar. So having that integration and ecosystem is very, very helpful. And another good thing about Notion calendar is the scheduling feature. So I'm always trying to schedule different meetings into my week. Um, and trying to figure out when I'm available. With Notion Calendar, I can just select the times that I am available and send that to my people that I'm trying to meet up with and they can know the times that I'm available. So that makes things super helpful as well. There's a strong emphasis on keyboard shortcuts. So by pressing T, uh, that brings you to your today view. By pressing M, that's gonna bring the calendar to a month view. And by pressing W, that's gonna bring you to a weekly view. And by pressing these keys, I can sort of zoom in and out 
of the time and, and the calendar. Because as students, like I said, our lives are so busy. We have to get from class to class, working on our assignments, and then balancing all other aspects of our life. Having a Notion calendar that's already super easy to use can just help us get more time back in the day. Now this one, I don't use absolutely every day. I'll be honest with you guys. But it is one of those apps that when I do need it, it comes in clutch. If ever there was an app that was just the goat for calculators, it is Numi's calculator. Like you can do currency conversion, you can create variables on it, you can check the time in different countries, it's sort of like coding but in a calculator. It is just super versatile and it's all you're ever going to need for a calculator. Everything you need, it's in there. You can do complex math equations, you know, all your bomb dash, order of operations, that sort of thing. Everything is there in the calculator. There is a paid version, but the free version is just, it's fine. It has everything you need. So get yourself a Numi calculator if you're a student, especially if you're doing a degree with lots of math or even a computer science degree like I am doing, it's very, very helpful. Now, I have to say, I'll, an app that I used a lot, especially while I was in high school and doing my final exams, was an app called Plenty. Now, there's a lot of different uh, Pomodoro timer apps out there. This is the app that just worked for me. It looks like this one in the top right. This, and when we open the app, it's going to look like this. I just got a daily reward. And it's very, very simple, a very simple app. What it does is basically you set a timer for how long you want to study. And when the timer finishes, you grow trees. Now. You can track your study progress over the week and compare it to last week. The catch is if you do go on your phone while the timer is on, the tree dies and you have to start all over again. This feature forces me not to go on my phone and be distracted by it. Now like I said, there are a lot of different plant study apps out there that you can get and some even have the feature of taking money out of your bank account if you disrupt the timer. So like for literally like $5. So if you know you can get easily distracted by your phone, maybe those are the apps that are more effective for you for me i wasn't that bad on my phone but definitely if i was someone who i'm still going on my phone and getting super distracted i would definitely get the apps that take the the money out of your out of your accounts i feel like you should with these sorts of apps it's important for them to be super simple and kind of boring because that's the whole point of them to keep you productive you don't want an app that has all these different features and stuff that you hope that the app itself is distracting you you know what i mean so just getting an app a Pomodoro timer technique where it sort of locks your phone down while the timer is on is really helpful. And the last app I have for you guys today is Notability. It's not an app that I use on my MacBook or my iPhone. It's an app that I use on my iPad with the Apple Pencil. So for those of you that have an iPad and Apple Pencil, this one is for you. If you have an iPad, get yourself a proper note-taking app that takes full advantage of the Apple Pencil's features like Notability or GoodNotes. Now there are a lot of videos online about which one is better and each app has its pros and cons. But for me, I just use Notability at the moment because I've paid the $25 for the one year subscription and I just love how the app can organize my notes into different subjects. The organization of it is great. It's a much better note-taking app than the Apple Notes app that's already built into the iPad. All right, so those are my top five must-have apps for students in 2024 that are either in college or still in school. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. If you guys do have any app recommendations or you have experience using these apps, please let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, have a good day.